let's say you want to ask Google to make you a haircut appointment. So what you're going to hear is the Google Assistant actually calling a real salon to schedule the appointment for you. What's happening out here? Hi, I'm calling to book a woman's haircut for a client. Um, I'm looking for something on May 3rd. Sure, give me one second. Mm-hmm. That was a real call you just heard. The amazing thing is the assistant can actually understand the nuances of conversation. We've been working on this technology for many years. It's called Google Duplex. It brings together all our investments over the years in natural language understanding, deep learning, text-to-speech. And let's face it, it's probably going to kill us all. That, ladies and gentlemen, is Sundar Pichai. He is the CEO of Google. And that clip is from Google I.O., Google's developers conference. And what you just saw, ladies and gentlemen, is effectively a Google robot making a phone call. Now, there's a lot to unpack here. So I was live on Twitch doing commentary on Google I.O. And my initial reaction to this was, holy sh**, that is insane and the chat agreed what 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 that was a real call you just heard what and they actually did another demo where they had a gentleman call a restaurant and the person on the other end of the phone couldn't really understand the artificial intelligence and things got kind of weird hi um i'd like to reserve a table for wednesday the 7th for seven people um, it's for four people. Four people when? Um, Today, next Wednesday at 6 p.m. Oh, actually, we leave here for like after like five people. For few, four people, you can come. How long is the wait usually to uh, be seated? For when tomorrow or weekday or? For next Wednesday, uh, the seventh. Oh, no, it's not too busy. You, you, you can come for four people, okay? Oh, I gotcha. Thanks. Bye-bye. Yep. This technology is straight up crazy, insane. And sure, everyone gets robocalls, spam calls. Congratulations, you won. But I feel like nine out of 10 times, you can tell that it's like a robot and not a real person. But now the situation has reversed. I mean, just like imagine you're working at a restaurant and someone calls and wants to make a reservation, let's say. We are at the point, Google is making it capable of you being unable to distinguish whether or not the person or robot on the other end is human. It's crazy because it seemingly works so well to the point where it even got the nuances of human speech right, where they were like, hmm, and like, haha, and like these weird kind of normal sounding pauses. You're always able to tell when it's a robot because they kind of sound like this when they talk, right? But this sounded extremely, almost even too natural. I was browsing Twitter last night after the event and Bridget Carey, who is a tech reporter at CNET, had a series of tweets about this. I am genuinely bothered and disturbed at how morally wrong it is for the Google Assistant voice to act like a human and deceive other humans on the other line of a phone call using upspeak and other quirks of language. Quote, hi, um, do you have anything available on uh, May 3rd? End quote. She continues, if Google created a way for a machine to sound so much like a human that now we can't tell what is real and what is fake, we need to have a talk about ethics and when it's right for a human to know when they are speaking to a robot. One more tweet. In this age of disinformation where people don't know what's fake news, how do you know what to believe if you can't even trust your ears with now Google Assistant calling businesses and posing as a human? That means any dialogue can be spoofed by a machine and you can't tell. And then her last tweet, Google Duplex sounds so real, guys, and she links to a Terminator 2 scene. John, honey, it's late. Please don't make me worry. Can we be there? Honey, are you okay? I'm right here. I'm fine. Are you sure? Are you sure you're all right? What's the dog's name? Max. Hey, Janelle. What's wrong with Wolfie? I can hear him barking. Is he okay? Wolfie's fine, honey. Wolfie's just fine. Where are you? 
in that scene, Arnold Schwarzenegger posing as young John Connor on the phone with his mom, but his mom was actually being spoofed by the T-1000. This is not science fiction anymore, people. So what does it mean? It means that in a couple of months from now, Google Assistant is going to be able to do some really, truly scary things. Kind of wild to see that on stage at Google I.O. and Google literally baking it into one of their products. I'm inclined to agree with Bridget on this. I think there needs to be a discussion about whether or not you're talking to a robot or a human on the phone. It's crazy that we've gotten here. It is 2018 after all, so we are like literally in the future. And that's what prompted that tweet for me this morning where I was like, or was it last night? I don't remember, but is tech too lit? Like, is, is it too much? Like we all have smartphones, all that stuff, but like, with artificial intelligence and Elon is on a tirade saying how we should be super, super careful and how dangerous artificial intelligence has the capability of being. And then let's not forget, there's that tech by Adobe that can spoof voices. I don't know if spoof is really the right, right word, but. Oh, just uh, type the word Jordan. Ooh. And here we go. And uh, uh, I kissed Jordan and my dogs. <laughs> It can more or less mimic a human voice. Like if you feed it enough data, it can spit back. But I always thought that that sounded a little robotic. But what Google's done has gone above and beyond. Now, don't get me wrong. It's it's cool. It's definitely cool that they're able to do this. It's like it's straight out of science fiction. It's just a bit concerning. And then there's also this technology where a group of super smart human beings figured out how to fabricate, duplicate, recreate speeches. Check this out. It got me thinking about my full-time employees and their ability to survive on $8 an hour in New York City. And foremost in all of our minds has been the loss and the grief felt by the people of Orlando. Most of us don't get our health care through the marketplace. We get it through our job or through Medicare or Medicaid. And what you should know is that thanks to the Affordable Care Act, your coverage is better today than it was before. Women can get free checkups, and you can't get charged more just for being a woman. Uh, when you're uh, giving a speech, uh, make sure you use uh, a lot of pauses. It's crazy. It's just, it's so crazy. Like, it seems like we are moving toward a reality where iRobot is, like, real. Or maybe that Bruce Willis movie, which I admittedly haven't seen, Surrogate, I saw trailers for it. But it seems like we're moving toward the point where, where we're not going to be able to distinguish the difference between a human and artificial intelligence. What do you think? You scared? You worried? Is Elon crazy for being so scared? Is AI really a threat? Stay tuned for more at 11. No, I don't know. Uh, it's it's pretty wild that uh, this is going to be a reality now. I just wanted to make a video about it because it took me by way surprise. I was thoroughly impressed, and then I got a little bit scared. Let me know in the comments what you think. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I will talk to y'all in the next video. Okay, it is 10.33 p.m. on Wednesday. And I just finished editing the video. I watched it back and I realized I made it seem like this feature was definitely coming out to like all Android phones soon. I, I, I wanna just pull back. I did some research and I found on Google's blog post that they said it's coming out as an experiment to some users this summer. So does that mean that it's gonna be rolled out to every single Android user or even on iOS, the Google Assistant app? Probably not. I did some more digging and found this Verge article by Chris Welch, shouts to Chris Welch. Last year at Google I.O., they promised this crazy tech that can remove objects from the image, like this boy in front of a fence. Google promised this magic capability of removing the fence. We still don't have that feature. But if I manage to get my hands on it, if I'm one of the users that gets to experiment with this feature, you bet I'm going to make a video about it. And funny enough, look at what video Marquez uploaded an hour ago. Look at what that says right there. One hour ago, let's talk about Google Duplex. Marquez, hi, great video, great minds. It'll be linked below, so you should check it out.